y'all would, we'd like to go ahead and uh, get people over this way. We're going to be uh, crossing University Parkway at the light here. We're going to stay on the sidewalks and uh, we'll have a great march, all right? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo. Woo. Black Lives Matter! Since you are on plenty of cops, I've been following them the entire time and talking and such. Yeah. What do we want? Money! What do we want? Now! Yeah. What do we want? Money! Now! What do we And the reason this is Black Lives Matter is because it is Black Lives that have been snubbed out without accountability. That's right! And when we as a nation can stand up and say that Black Lives Count, we are in essence saying that all lives count. Yeah. There is such thing as accountability and restraint when it comes to law enforcement officers. And for those of y'all from Johnson City, I'd like to recall the incident that took place here just three weeks ago to illustrate my point. About three weeks ago, there was a young lady being arrested by a Johnson City police officer. She had made up her mind she didn't want to go. So what she did, she put her car in reverse and backed up between the officer and the door between, between her door and his cruiser. However, he was able to get himself loose. In the process, she turned the car around and come back and hit the officer. Actually, seen him several feet in the air. Long story short, where do you think she is today? I tell you where she ain't. She's not in a grave. That, to me, implies that there is 
She's not in the grave because that also used restraint and sound judgment. Yes. 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 And if one law enforcement officer can use restraint and sound judgment, so can the rest across the nation. Yes. 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 Yes.